guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So, allergies have hit again, only it turned into a sickness that has had me down for a week and it's ridiculous. So I'm super stuffed up and I'm very, very sorry for that. I wish I wasn't. Trust me, you are not the only one. <laughs> Today I'm going to be talking about my June TBR. It's already June 1, um, and 2, I don't really set myself TBRs, but I have so many books that I need to read and review. There's so many books that are coming out this month, so I thought that it would be better for myself if I set myself a TBR. So, it's very, very ambitious, like, super ambitious, but I know that most of them will get done because they have to get done. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I have to read and will be reading in the month of June. The first book is More Than Meets the Eye by Karen Whitmire, and this book released on June 5th, I believe, which was Tuesday, and I have already read it. This is Karen's first book to her new series about a patchwork family, and it is so, so, so good. You have to read it. So this was the first book on my TBR. The next book is Unbreakable by Sarah Ella. I am buddy reading this book with Jessie Dawn. I've talked about her endlessly. She's amazing and I love her so, so much. Um, we did buddy read Unraveling together and we decided that it would be perfect and only fitting for us to buddy read Unbreakable together as well. And we're kind of failing at it so far. Um, it's been a little bit of a struggle, but we're going to get there and we're going to finish it. And so far it's been crazy. Next on my TBR is A Defense of Honor by Christy and Hunter. This also released on June 5th. And this is Christy's first full-length novel to her new series called A Haven Manor. And I'm so very excited to read this. I read the novella a couple months back. And I'm very excited to read the series as well. She showed us the cover of book two recently, and it is so beautiful. It's the series is going to look great on a shelf. I cannot wait. So I'm very excited to dive into this next so that I can read it and review it. The next book on my TBR is Falling for You by Becky Wade, and this is book two in her Bradford Sister series. I read book one also, I think in January is when I read it. And I was okay with it, but I was super, super excited for Willow's story, which is what book two is about. So I'm very, very excited to read this one very soon. Next is The Story Peddler by Lindsay Franklin. And I'm actually going to be buddy reading this with a lovely, lovely lady. And I cannot wait. This book released in May, I believe, with Unbreakable and... I'm just so excited to read it. It's been sitting on my nightstand for a while and just screaming at me to read it. And I cannot wait to finally, finally dig into this very intriguing story. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Falling for the Cowgirl by Tina Radcliffe. And this is a love-inspired book and the cover is beautiful. There is a gorgeous horse on the front. And this is a part of a Just Reads tour. And I'm so very excited to read this and review it. And I love Tina's writing. The next book that I'm going to be reading is Never Borrow Baron by Regina Scott. This is book two in her Fortunes, Fortune Brides series. I believe that's what the series is called. Book one was amazing. I read it last month. And I cannot wait to read book two. And then the next book that I'm going to be reading, I haven't gotten yet because it also released on June 5th, is, is A Daring Venture by Elizabeth Camden. And I will have that one in paperback soon, but I'm waiting for it to come. So it'll probably be towards the end of the month or even the beginning of July before I can read it. Shipping has been a little weird with Bethany House recently, and I've been getting books kind of late. So we'll see how it goes. But regardless, if I get it, it's definitely on my TBR. If not, then it's on my July TBR. And the last book that I'm going to be reading for the month, or at least really trying to get to, is The Solace of Water by Elizabeth Blyer, Byler Yant. And this book 
released, I believe, also on June 5th. Tons of books released on June 5th. It was crazy. And this is actually a little outside of what I normally read, but it sounded so interesting. It has Amish elements, which I don't normally read, but it also has, it's a historical based story. So it has historical elements, a little bit of Amish. Um, like it just pulls from all these categories, which is so, so intriguing for me. So I'm very excited to read it. I feel like it's going to be something that I enjoy. I feel like it's going to be a deeper read. So I definitely want to have some lighter reads to read after it. So I might throw it in in the middle of the month. So we'll see how it goes. So yeah, timeline wise, my books, I'm not, I probably won't be reading them in that order. I just know that I finished, I've already finished one and I'm in the middle of one right now. But I'm very, very excited for all of the reads that I'm going to be getting to this month. Um, it's very ambitious. It's, it's a huge TBR, but I know that if I read all of these this month, it's going to like put me way ahead of my goal for my Goodreads goal. And June has been my crazy month so far reading wise and reviewing wise. Um, so I know that it will kind of come down a little bit. Maybe we'll see. I feel like I'm missing a book or two that I have talked about or said that I needed to review. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to check. But for now, these will be the only books on my TBR. I might add to them if I have time, but I have a feeling that I won't. So on my TBR, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. nine books that I'm going to be reading in the month of June. Again, kind of ambitious, a little crazy. But I'm super excited to see if I can read it and see if I can finish this TBR. And I can't wait to read all of these wonderful, wonderful books. I would love to hear what's on your June TBR this month. Are you interested in reading any of these books? I would love to know. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to chat with you guys and talk it up. You can check out my blog, which is for the love of Christian fiction .com. And you can also check out my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction. All of my other Links are in the description box below, and I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!